Hello my beautiful princesses, today's video is sponsored by beautiful princess hair. In today's video I'm going to be telling you guys how to pluck your hair, most requested video on my channel. Get a tweezer, get your hair, whatever it is, I don't know, get your wig head. Put your wig head in the most comfortable position you possibly can. Don't, if you cannot stand, please don't kill yourself. Put it on your lap. You can see me sitting down, my wig head is on my lap. That's the most comfortable position for me. And I'm going one stroke at a time. But before you start plucking, hold or pull the hair backwards. And then pluck in the direction of the hair. One stroke at a time on a spot. Don't pluck a spot more than once at a time. If you want to go back to that area again, go back again and pluck, but one stroke at a time, this helps you to control what you're doing. Now I'm done with that area. I'm not done plucking, no, calm down. I'm done with that area. I'm just going to comb it and remove the excess hair that is just coming out. Please don't be scared when you see hair falling out, it's expected. Now I'm just, you know, cutting out that area that I've already plucked to the front. I'm patting it out and I'm going behind that area to pluck again some people might stop at this point it's okay or it's fine it depends on how full your natural hairline is but my hairline is very sparse so i like my wigs to look sparse so don't don't go in the comment section writing over plucking but i will over pluck it for my for my comment section i remove it and now i'm satisfied with what this area looks like so i obviously come into the front and then i look for an area that is really thick and I go in that area and I pluck. I found the thick area after this part I've already plucked. Now it's time to go back again and pluck. This time around, this third area I'm plucking now, I'm going in strokes that look like, that makes, makes the hair look like it's a rat tail comb. And I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit what it actually looks like. Anyways, I'm just going and I'm plucking twice on a spot or three times on a spot, depending on how thick that spot is. But if you don't want to over pluck, pluck once on the spot and then come back to that area again and pluck again okay especially for people that are just starting to pluck for the first time do not rush this process i'm doing it, it it's looking like i'm doing it fast but I actually slow down this whole thing to show you how fast i am like is this process takes the longest time when it comes to wig hair making or wig making or whatever it takes the longest time honestly and it's stressful but with time you get used to it and i'm doing that again until i'm actually satisfied with what it looks like a way to know if you're satisfied or not is you comb everything that you've plucked backwards and then you see if you can clearly see a line of demarcation that shows a part that's not plucked then you have to go back to that area and pluck again that's what i normally do then i went to the front you can obviously see the reason for me leaving the front that time i left it like i didn't over pluck it at first was because if i made a mistake at the back if i over plucked at the back then the front could cover up for me but this one i did not over pluck so you can clearly see it looks like a rat tail comb in front and now i'm just going ahead to do the other parts of the hair that's pretty much all about plucking like there's nothing stressful about plucking people make plucking sound like it's very complicated it's really not it's just patience honestly now let's go into this hair oh, because i don't like the lace of this i really like not that i don't like the lace the lace is a bit too thick for me i think i'm too used to hd lace now so the lace is a bit too thick for me and like it was just not looking as natural as possible so i used my concealer so you can definitely fix any problem you have trust me i used my concealer and the concealer was really light compared to my skin i did that intentionally and then i went back with my foundation to actually just blend it in properly you saw me spraying something that was alcohol it helps to loosen up the excess glue that is on your lace but please if you spray alcohol on your hair be careful because it will cause your hair to lift if your hair is not stuck down properly my hair was literally stuck down i don't even know what i used but that hair was stuck down to the point where it was not coming out anywhere so if your hair is not stuck down properly don't use alcohol to do this you can use your hair styling mousse to do this and then going with your maybe your hot comb or hot whatever you guys use hot comb has burnt me tired i'm tired okay so i'm just gonna have to style this hair and this hair oh my gosh i complain about the lace but the hair texture is oh my gosh this hair texture is 100 like this is the best hair texture i've used i'm telling you facts and i might say that in so many of my videos but i'm serious this hair is the best hair texture i have used and it has the same texture from the front all the way to the back 
and it's just it's just beautiful it's just gorgeous and it takes in curls so easily but the only thing is it, the same way it takes in curls that like as easy as taking in curls it loses those curls very easily as well so every morning you wake up you're going to have to curl your hair again don't get frustrated it's just part of life you know it's part of the cycle of life so take it easy on yourself and do what you gotta do okay i'm just going to have to dry this hair because i over over sprayed this thing with my um hair whatever i don't know what it was my hairspray i'm gonna have to just freeze this for the front because the front like for you to get it to actually stand in place you need to freeze it it helps it to actually stay in a position and not move the whole day you can also do this by using your got to be freeze spray to spray that section and hold it up and then use your hair dryer to dry it in place but i didn't want excess glue on my hair i wanted it to look as natural and as silky as possible so i went with this other process and i just went ahead to just do the remaining parts of you know styling my hair and making my hair look like i just came out from a salon i look gorgeous baby i look beautiful thank you beautiful princess hair i really like this hair to be honest and Honestly, I don't think I have any other problem with this hair except the lace. Yeah, pretty much. But the lace is something you can manage, like I showed you guys earlier on. It was easy for me to manage. And this hair is still on my head right now. It's been three days. I've not had to re-glue it on or do anything extra to the hair. It's just literally sitting on my head like a beautiful princess. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video up to this point. If you see this point, please drop a comment down below. Wait, let me see. Drop a kiss emoji down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. I see some of you don't follow me on my social media platforms. Definitely follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever it is. I don't know. Also, subscribe and also put on the notification bell and also comment down below and leave a like. Please like this video so that it can reach people that actually need it. Okay. Um, my post notification shout out goes to ding ding. No, 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 hold on. I literally just realized that Dima watched my last video. Yo, no way. I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Saranye, I guess they are. Bye.